Hi, my name is Karen Sue Smith and I'm the editorial director here at America Magazine. And in our latest issue, I've written an article about the Polish artist uh, Stanislaw Wyspiański. And I'm here to talk to you today about one particular uh, picture, and that is a self-portrait that he painted when he was about 33 years old, just five years before he died at the very early age of 38. The first observation that I want you to notice is that this is, in fact, a self-portrait. Many artists make these. Uh, we're familiar with tons of self-portraits by Vincent van Gogh and Edvard Munch, for example. And even in the age of photography, self-portraits are unique. They tell us something that's different from any photograph because they show us what an artist sees by looking in the mirror. And so we're privy to something that otherwise we wouldn't be. So here is Stanislaw Wyspiański, young father, uh, artist, dramatist, etc., looking at himself in the mirror. And in this particular portrait that we've run here, you, you see that it's not particularly colorful. We have many other examples that are much more colorful. We have some that are just sketches, and then one, the very last year of his life, where you can see that he's not doing well, he's ill, and it's kind of a tortured sketch. But this one is somber in tone, and you can see that he's wearing a, a big fur vest or coat, something like that. This is in Poland, it's cold. Um, so let's just take a look at it, and um, you'll notice a second thing, and that is that behind him, in the background, are a bunch of plants. Now what's that about? <laughs> Wyspiański is known for these plants and he made serious studies of plant life and plants appear in some of the portraits that he does of himself, his wife, and his daughters. You'll see them in another picture that we've run in the magazine and that we have online. He also puts plants in his religious uh, images, even the big uh, enormous and monumental uh, stained glass works that he has done and they also appear in uh, a picture called Polonia which is about the suffering of Poland, his motherland. Now in religious art, he is building on an ancient practice of putting in plants, and plants have a kind of symbolism. Some, uh, this plant means, or this flower means life, this one means death, this one means resurrection, that kind of thing. And once upon a time, people who looked at religious art knew how to read those plants. We've lost a lot of that now. The third point I wanted to make is simply this, that Wyspiański was young, he'd gone to the center of art in Europe, he'd been to Paris, he'd been to Vienna, he'd been to Munich, and he was privy to and part of uh, an enormously uh, new and exciting movement in art called Art Nouveau. Uh, you think of a particular artists, you know Tiffany, Louis Comfort Tiffany in the United States, uh, Gustav Klimt in Vienna, you think of Antonin Gaudí in Spain, and you think of Wyspiański in Krakow. If you don't know what Art Nouveau is, just think of the uh, Paris Metro and the, the kind of wisp of a plant that comes around. It's, it's always curvilinear. Think of Rennie McIntosh and how he has very square-like furniture, but then, then there's these rounded forms and they all have plant life. They're all organic. Plants are everywhere. So that's another reason that they're behind Wyspiański in this picture and the pictures of his family. Now I'm going to put these two ideas together and end with this, which is that, okay, there's religious iconography, it means certain things, religious symbolism with plants and all, and then there's Art Nouveau. This Biansky was very concerned about Poland and its self-identity, constantly being overrun by this people or that. The people suffered a lack of identity, and he wanted to create a national art that would be Poland's and that would bring Poland into the, the whole artistic scene. Now if you look at our site, you'll see that we've put on there a 360 degree view, this is a link, that shows you the inside of the Franciscan church. And when you go there, you're going to see plants like you've never seen them in your life because all painted on the entire interior of this cavernous, huge church are plants, flowers, geometric shapes, everywhere your eye can, can look. And this is not Saint Chapelle that's small, intimate, and light, filled with light. This is big, huge, cavernous church in Krakow where it's dark and they have tough, long winters. And when people walked inside there and saw this, they must have thought to themselves, wow, look at this. 
all this creation inside, the outdoor, the blooming, all of life, life givingness inside our church. And not only that, they saw, here's Art Nouveau. We have Art Nouveau ourselves. We're part of the most going artistic movement on the face of the earth right now. Thank you. <laughs>